Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes. Thank you for joining me for another video about playback in Dorico. From now on, we're going to start moving away from the automatic behavior and start taking matters into our own hands. So if you want to control which sound libraries are used for certain instruments in Dorico, keep watching. Ultimately, I'm going to show you how to set up Dorico to always load specific sounds for certain instruments and techniques through what we call playback templates. We're going to get there step by step, though. And the first step is to choose a different sound used by an instrument in an open project. This procedure won't change the sound that's loaded whenever you add that type of instrument in the future. It's for this instrument in this project right now. Why might this be useful? Well, for example, I play the piano and I own an undisclosed number of different piano sounds and libraries. And sometimes I might want a specific piano sound in a project I'm working on. Or perhaps I might be using one or more synths in a project and so could want to load any number of different patches from various different libraries. I don't always just want to use that same sound that gets loaded when you add a synth to Dorico. You can use any VST3 instrument plugin that you own. When you run Dorico, it will scan the usual locations in your machine that VST plugins are installed to. Switch to play mode and click to view the VST and MIDI panel. This will show all currently loaded VST instrument plugins. Add a new slot by clicking this button, then find your VST in the list, which is organized by software vendor. If the library that you're looking for runs via a player such as Contact or Halion Sonic, then choose that plugin. The VST slots are numbered to help identify them. Slot 1 is always reserved for the sound Dorico uses for the metronome click. Use the plugin to find and load the sound you want. If the plugin can load multiple sounds at once, make a note of the slot or channel your sound is loaded into. Back in Dorico, select the instrument you wish to change the sound for in the Tracks view and switch to the Track Inspector. Choose the newly loaded VST plugin from the drop-down menu and be sure to match the channel your sound was loaded to. Now, your instrument will play back using the newly loaded sound. You can do this for as many instruments in your project as you like, but as I mentioned earlier, this doesn't change which sound is used for these instruments in future projects. Also, this works best for the most simple cases because of the need for something called expression maps. An instrument like a piano is essentially controlled by the velocity of the keys being struck, so it's a relatively easy case. In the next video, we'll explore how many sound libraries use various different methods to control the sounds of their instruments, switching between different articulation types and using MIDI controller channel data to control things like dynamics and expression. An expression map contains the information Dorico needs to access and control the features of a sound library. And it's the next part of our process, so we'll start to take a look at them in the next video. One last thing before I go. You may have noticed the panel here is called VST and MIDI. And that's because you can also route to MIDI devices connected to your computer, such as a synthesizer. The process is just the same as with VST instruments. But of course, you'll have to set up and load the relevant sound on the MIDI device itself. And remember that if you are routing MIDI data to an external device, Dorico won't be able to export its audio. If this video has been useful, I'd be honored if you left me a like. Please do subscribe to our channel, click in the bell to get notified when we add more videos. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.